Look at that, some earrings. But look at this, Shay! Woo! Oh! Take a look at this one. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh. Everybody, welcome back. Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire, and I appreciate y'all tuning in for another great episode. Who knows what we're going to find? Back to this doctor stuff. So, been so many great things. We found sterling silver. We found gold. We found antiques, stuffs, jewelry, vintage toys, all kind of great stuff. Take a look at all the other episodes. Don't forget, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that bell. Get your notifications. Make sure you don't miss anything. Check out all the past episodes. And once again, the best thing, you can actually buy the stuff at www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. That's right. Silent Shane's here. Magic Mike. Who knows where Joe is? Anyways, let's go through some boxes. Start right here, Shane. How's that? I like it. Look at that case. Look at those. Oh, there's two awesome cases right on top. Oh, what's this? This is Blueberry's strap for the saddle. You know Blueberry, right? Your favorite horse? I don't know what the heck this is. Strap for a saddle, Blueberry. So, I don't know. Is there a horse out there named Blueberry that was like a collector horse, or is it just a real horse? I don't know. Man, look at these two cases. Let's take a look at this case first. Look at how awesome that is. Just the detail. Oh, wow, look how cool it is. Red, white, and blue, Shane. What do you think's in the case? Magic Mike, what do you think's in this case? Tapes. That case is a child's toy. Child's toy, he says. That, that's it? Big broad general <laughs> statement. I tend to keep it general. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I guess Mike might win. Yeah. These, oh my gosh. Look at these old, old skates right here. You know how old these skates are? They got wooden wheels. They got wooden wheels, Mike. But look at those ball bearings, man. Wooden wheel roller skates. Say that 20 times fast. Wooden wheel roller skates now. Wooden wheel roller skates. Man. Those are some good vintage. It says Ohio or Chicago Roller Skate Company. What a cool case though. And that's actually the Chicago case for your roller skates right there. Take care of your Chicago skates. That's pretty cool. It's probably worth some money just because it's in the original case it came in with wood wheels. So what's in this case, Shane? You want to take a guess? Depends how heavy it is. Oh, it's heavy. Mike, you want to take a guess? In that case, or game. Is it metal? It's metal. No. Tools. A chemistry set! Wow. Definitely wouldn't have guessed that. Vintage goodness right here. Let's take a look and open it up. Oh, yeah. That's a good sign. There's all the paperwork. Oh, yeah. That's what you want. Half of these chemicals are probably illegal, ladies and gentlemen. You could probably make a bond and stuff out of this stuff. I guarantee you there's stuff in here you can no longer buy. I guarantee you. I don't even want to know, but who knows? But it's filled. I mean, I don't even know what azurite is, but do we really want to find out? Magnesium sulfite, tannic acid. We got everything in here. So it looks like it's a complete, and that makes a huge difference. Here's a scale right here, a balance scale. Here's weights for the scale. So this is a great, great piece. Vintage goodness is what I always say. And I just want to close it without trying to drop anything. And the case is in really awesome shape. Wow, it gets me excited. We just found wooden wheel roller skates, a metal tin laboratory set. Oh man, what else can we find? What else can we find? Oh, and we did find, don't forget, blueberries. Strap for a saddle. That's right. 
We found some books and we found some more now. But we found some good ones, Shane, so let's see what we got in here. Medic. 1942. Oh, look at this. All the different doctors and stuff. Very interesting. So, all doctors, so that's interesting. What else could be in here? Nitrous oxide anesthesia. <laughs> the, the the effects of nitrous oxide, Mike. How's that one? Here's anesthesia. Proverbs. Wildflower edition. Find out all the wildflowers in North America. South America, you're not going to be in luck. But North America? This looks like it's all going to be medical books in here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh. Gray's and Anne in the 100th year. The 20... 7th edition. So what year was that? You want to take a guess? What was the 100th year of Grey's Anatomy, Mike? 100th year of Grey's Anatomy? You know Grey's Anatomy is, right? No, not the TV show. That's what I would think. Oh my God. You don't know Grey's Anatomy? is a book, the doctor's book? I'm going to say. It's like the Bible of doctors. It's called Grey's Anatomy. Not familiar. 64. <sighs> 1959. Close. So 1859 would have been the first printing of Grey's Anatomy, Mike. I remember that. Oh, speaking of which, look down here, look down here. Grey's Anatomy. Look at how old that one looks. This is the 23rd edition. What edition is this? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's coming apart. It's so old. I mean, the cover fell off already. I did not do that. This is an old one now. Let's see. We'll find a date in this one. 1905. Anatomy. Descriptive and Surgical by Henry Gray. So that's pretty cool. So we just found one from 1959. Now 1905. And I know that's worth money. If you're a doctor out there, I mean, you'd want to buy that. There's more Grey's Anatomy in here. Man, let's see what else we can find. Ooh, look at this. Sports cards? That thing's packed and stacked, Shane. Wow. Look at all those in there. Jordan Rookie? I hope so. It's possible. So, these are too new for Jordan Rookies. But you never know. We got cards in there. Look at right here, there's a vintage card. See? That's the kind of thing you're looking for. You could have a Jordan Rookie in here. Like that guy right there. Kissing the trophy in 91. So, it's possible, you know. That'd be a great find. Oh man, down here. Got all kind of old cards. Larry Brown. So we're seeing old cards mixed in with new cards, so it's a good possibility. But look at this right here. Ebony Magazine. Uh, 1978. Muhammad Ali! Was it Muhammad Ali yet? Or was he still Cassius Clay? I don't know. 1978, I would say he's Muhammad Ali then. Pinnacle Series 1, 1996. So I don't know. I gotta look it up. There could be a great card in '96 Pinnacle. Oh, look at this Indians hat. Looks like brand new. This whole thing, I think, is just full of sports memorabilia, which is good for us. This is about boxing. Jack Dempsey. So, 100 years of boxing. We got all these Sports Illustrated. Magic. I'm talking about Magic Johnson, not Magic Mike, okay? Just letting everyone know out there. Oh, look at this. 
the Los Angeles Raiders. This hat was worn by Easy E himself. Wouldn't that be awesome? Do you even know who Easy is? I don't know, I don't know who he is. Look at these baseballs. These are actually look like game used balls. Oh no way! What? I was not expecting to see something like this in there. Look at this. This is all vintage GI Joe guys. Inside this box from a doctor's room. This look at this. Robotech. Man, this is unbelievable. All these vintage toys. I have no clue how or why this is with. It's just weird. I was not expecting it. It's just like Elvis. His showing. His Elvis is here. Speaking of, oh man. Now that's the king right there. Uh -huh. Young Elvis. Everyone likes young Elvis. Right, Shane? Elvis is great. More old cards. So just mix them with new ones. I mean, this has no rhyme, no reason. Drink Coca-Cola. We got Thai Beanie Babies in here. Elvis. We love me tender. Love you. Want to be cool if it's autograph? By Elvis. Nike One. Golf Balls. Muhammad Ali. More books. Oh, wow. Look at here. Good. We got sports cards. All the baseball cards. Warren Moon. Reggie White. Football. Baseball. So who knows? That's good. Collectibles. We always love collectibles. We got vintage G.I. Joe toys. Baseball cards. Basketball cards. Football cards. More stuff to go through. Keep watching. See what else we find. It's going to be awesome. The Night Before Christmas coloring book. Oh, look at that. That looks like that boat we got at the one off show we're going to be doing. It does. The clipper ship in the glass case just like that. That's pretty cool. Very Merry coloring book. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Trigonometry data sheet. Plane geometry. What is this? Block printing. Types around the world. 101 heads. Wow. Just, oh, look at this. The magazine antiques from 1947. So stuff with antique then would have been 1847 stuff. That's pretty cool. See this kind of old stuff. I love looking at this kind of stuff. Looks like more drawing book heads. So that was pretty cool. Just because it's books. I mean, there's, these two have some cool stuff. We just found that old Grey's Anatomy. We've got some more boxes to go through. Keep watching. Who knows the next thing we're going to find. I'm sure it's going to be unbelievable. See, we got more to go through here. Ugh. We got a pillow! Pillow fight. Oh, look at that, some earrings. But look at this, Shane! Woo! Oh, oh, oh. See what I see? A jewelry box. A jewelry box, yes. So exciting. Oh, yes, just like all the other ones filled to the rim. Look at this. Oh, pull this out here. There's something inside here. A pair of earrings here. These might be gold with pearl. So I have to look at these. Look at all the stuff in here. We got earrings. Pendants, butterfly pin, it's Mark Spain right there. Oh, look at the alligator. This thing, oh man. Oh, look at this watch. 
Hamilton on the leather. Magnifying glass. Nice metal bracelet right there. Who knows? I mean, look at all this jewelry. Oh, the owl. Woo -hoo. I mean, it's just, let's see what's in here. Oh, face. Can you see it right there? Look at that money, Shane. Look at dimes. Oh my gosh. Look at all these dimes. Please be silver. Please be 1964. That one says 1964. Oh, that one says 70-something. That one says, I swear, that one said 64. Does that say 64? It says 66. I think 66. Man, I think I just wanted it to say 64. Look at all these dimes, though. Why? I mean, this whole thing has tons of things. Look at all. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh! Right there. Oh, that looks like a ruby on there. That looks like it's a gold ring right there, Shane. Wow. Look at that. Yes! Yes! What else can we have in there, Shane? Some kind of I mean, there's just so much in here, stuff's just pile, pile back. Look at these beautiful pieces. Yeah, all this vintage jewelry we found money and dimes, and they're still I mean it's so full we can't even open this shit. I hate to try to open this without breaking it. Oh, I mean that's how packed oh it's just that pack full of jewelry. It just doesn't even want to open, Shane. We got that much stuff. Oh, wow. Look at that. That might be real, Shane. It could be an antique coin right there. These people are world travelers. We know they're doctors. We know they had money. Look at all this jewelry. Tons of beautiful pieces of costume jewelry. We found gold. We found silver. We got this one up here. Oh. Oh. Wow. All kind of beautiful pieces. Look at the snake pen. It's marked right there by the Kapari. Some of these marked jewelry, these pins and stuff can go for good money. I mean, who knows what else we're going to find. But we just found all this cooler in this thing. What else is in this box? We gotta keep looking, Shane. We gotta see what else is in this box. Man. Pear diamond pendant. <laughs> Some kind of lamp, Shane. Oh, look at jeweler fell out of there. Oh, there's just jewelry falling out. Wow. Look at that. This might be by. Andrea again. So that is a nice piece. Jewelry down here, Shane. Look at all this stuff. Oh, look at this. Summer festival. What is this? John Pat? Huh. I mean, it looks like it's sterling silver, though. I think it is a sterling silver box. Here, Shane. I guess it's a B, maybe, but it's sterling silver right there. It's all marked. Some of this jewelry can be very valuable. So, I mean, that's all packed. I think it looks like a little lizard or something. Oh, there's two of them. I think they're earrings. Those are awesome earrings. Another little, it's got to be sterling silver. So, once again, I mean, this whole box is just full of jewelry that just fell out. It looks like everything that fell out is sterling silver, I swear. So, once again, you got to go through every little piece. We got one more box over here. Oh, wow. Some interesting amount. The top right here, look at this. Sterling here. I think 
think it's a silver plate though. These are all brand new pieces here. You know, I don't want to say. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. I like this unit so much. I found jewelry and gold and sterling silver too. Look at this vintage little fish bucket there. Just baiting it. Oh, look at the little glass animal, Shane. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. That's an old car horn, Shane. Usually you see them, but the rubber's always broken. I'm afraid to even touch it. Look at Hear that? Sounds right. like plastic. Yeah. That's what happens to the rubber. That's the original rubber piece on there. Those are always gone. Man. It's like an old car horn. So, gotta be very gentle with that. What's this? Some kind of horse trophy? Hmm. Who knows? I mean, horses and some kind of little cup in here. We got pots. But it still has the sticker on there. So they never used it. But that sticker would have came off, you know. The bird. You see we got some bowls down here. Oh, unbelievable. You're going to find so much great stuff. That's sterling silver. Yeah. But just keep watching. All right, YouTube universe, how we doing? Got so many more boxes to go through. Let's see what else we can find. I'm by myself. Silent Shane had to leave. Magic Mike had to leave. Hey, I just got to keep going through stuff. I want to show you guys over the weekend more of this crazy stuff I found. Oh, everything's heavy here. Let's take a look first. Kids, books. Oh. I see some good books in here, it looks like. Look at these. And there's like the big storybook. Grimm's Fairy Tales. Man, these old books like this, or kids' books especially, they usually sell very, very well. The story of Black Beauty's in here. Owls. The first book of books. Robinson Crusoe. Horses. Big black horse. So who knows? I mean, there's some Walt Disney Bambi. The big golden book. So right there could be some money. Nineteen forty nine copyright date. Woo! That's a really nice shape right there. A little damage, I guess, but man. So, oh, look at this Mickey Mouse birthday book. So those are kind of books that people. I mean, it's a cross collectible. Famous Indian tribes. Too bad it's in bad shape. Native American books like this usually sell pretty well. So that's cool. You never know what you're going to find. All right, let's take a look at this one. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. This might be more of the uranium glass. We'll have to put the black light on there, see if it glows. So we'll take a look at that later. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So who knows what's in this is like the third or fourth salt and pepper shaker set I found. Maybe, I mean, with salt and pepper in them. So, I don't know what these people, they, they have lots of salt and pepper. They probably had a huge house. Look at this little visor vase. Man, who knows? This whole thing is just packed full. Oh, that looks nice. Look at that. So, it's marked. This one's actually marked. It says something here. Clark's Tea Berry Gum. Wow. 
that's an old display piece right there, and that definitely looks like uranium glass. That is such a cool piece. Man, I'm excited. I don't usually get excited about glass, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know. But when I find awesome pieces oh, like that, and then pieces of porcelain, this is all like got golding on there, all hand painted. I could just tell it's an old piece. There's some kind of mark that was down there. But it definitely came off. Man. It's like, what are you going to find next in this kind of box? You're going to find a little funnel. You know, a can opener. That's what you're going to find next. So there's a, that's a for mixing. That's like one ounce, probably two ounces of liquor. I used to be in the hospitality industry. Ooh, that looks nice. A little barometer. Oh my gosh, it's another pepper or salt. I told you, just keep finding those. Salt, pepper. Just a little metal. This thing's just loaded with glass. There's a shot glass. St. George's University. I'm not sure where St. George's University. Let me know out there. It's a little measuring glass. This thing's just loaded with shot glasses and other glass. This is heavy right here. Oh, it looks like a nesting set maybe. Some kind of bowl down here. Falls craft. That's a good sign. So we got these little ceramic bowls and some falls craft. There's another big piece of falls craft here. Salt and pepper shake. Look at it. <laughs> More salt and pepper shakers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, yeah, too bad they weren't sterling. So, look at it. I mean, I've seen people collect salt pepper shakers, but usually they're empty. These are full. Oh, man, there's something, something. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Then it's got, those are for the little two containers we found earlier. Those are little pestle. So, those are mortar and pestle. These little things here. So that goes with that there, and then the other one will go with the bigger one. Pretty cool. We got some metal tin. A pair of these, the Elite trays. Not great condition, unfortunately. More salt pepper shakers. Silverware. What the heck? It's like a purple glass. Pretty nice. This thing is loaded. Oh, what the heck is this? This is heavy. Wow. That looks like it's crystal. And we found a piece of a. Other crystal, I don't know, there's been all kind of crystal, like, this looks like it's marked, but I can't make it out. It's definitely marked, it's signed. So that's good. Cut crystal, little vase or vase like that. Money, money, money. And shock, oh, it's a measuring cup, looks like a shock glass. Man, so all kind of good stuff. But what I'm really excited about is that piece right there. The best to say is Clark's Tea Berry on there. I love that. Because usually none of these are marked. We got another book over here. Another box, another book. Wow. 
Holy Stein. That's what I'm having right there. It's marked on the bottom. Pewtertronic, Seymour Man Imports, Imports Italy. So this is when you're going to have one beer. Wife, I'm just having one beer tonight. You didn't say what size beer. So this is paper, paper, paper. Uh oh. This is not paper. Oh, another Stein. Look at that one. See if it's marked on the bottom. I don't see any marks. What the heck is this? Some kind of weird, I don't know. We'll get it out in a minute. Oh, nice. Some Steins can go for hundreds of dollars, ladies and gentlemen. This one is marked. Germany, there's a number on there. So I'm going to assume all these are old German signs. Look at that. Oh. Wow, what is that? Oh. It says anchor. It's some kind of maybe you tie it like that. It's old. That, that could be worth some money, man. It's a beautiful piece, copper, brass. Maybe we'll find something in here it goes with. Let's see. There's some interesting piece on the bottom here. I haven't got it out yet. Stein there. But it does have some damage. It's been smashed on the top. What year is this newspaper? I always like to tell you the years of the newspaper. 2001. 2001. <laughs> Didn't expect to find that in there, but it is marked on the bottom. Got to look that up. You don't know. There are cigarette buds in there, too. Nasty. Now, this is what I've been talking about. What is this thing? So it looks like it goes this way. You got little baby steins in here. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. turtle, turtle, turtle. Was not expecting to find that in there. It's like a metal horse. Just some strange things inside this little. It's like a brass copper little pot. It's a dinosaur, or a porcelain dinosaur. Huh. Just the strangest thing to find. A little tiny baby stein. So this pot, you see when this thing's the lid for it? Something like that. I don't know. So who knows what else we're going to find. It's been so interesting. I mean, this piece right here is really cool. And I appreciate everybody out there watching. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Take a look at all of our past videos. And once again, you can actually buy the stuff. www.secondsense.com www.secondsense.com And this doctor's unit, a lot of this stuff's going to be coming up for sale in January. And I'm going to grab the black light. And I'll show you guys real quick about what I'm talking about. See if it's uranium glass. All right, everybody, here's that piece of glass I was talking about. Look at that. See how it kind of just glows like that? So, without the light, with the black light. So, 
I would say that's probably uranium glass there. It makes it worth a lot more money. Look how cool that is. There's people out there that set these up, to put black lights on them in their display cases. So very cool piece. Have to do some research on it. Let's see right there, you can make out Clark T Berry. Pretty cool.